everyone, hope you're doing well, and of course Arnie does too. In recent videos I've been through some of the largest freshwater fish in the world, but if we include all of the world's waters, in other words the oceans, there is one species of fish which is the undisputed largest in the world, and that of course is the whale shark. Now despite its confusing name, the whale shark is not related to whales at all, and judging from the comments on some of my videos, it still confuses some people that sharks are actually fish. And ever since humans started exploring the oceans, we've been infatuated with sea serpents and monsters of the deep as there's lots of tales in myth and legend of mermaid sea serpents and killer whales, but in the modern day we have a deeper understanding of many of the creatures that call our oceans home, and it gives us a bit of a clue as to what inspired these myths and legends, as it's thought that people might have seen an oarfish and described it to be a giant sea serpent, and many of the ocean's aquatic mammals could be mistaken for mermaids at a distance. But the world's largest fish isn't anything like a monster at all, as the whale shark is an elegant gentle giant that poses no threat to humans at all. And the whale shark is pretty widespread spread across the world, and inhabits all tropical and temperate seas, and very rarely strays into water with a temperature lower than 21 degrees Celsius, which is around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And in these warmer oceans, it can be found in both coastal and oceanic habitats, and they're normally found near the surface of the water, moving very slowly, as whale sharks move at speeds little more than 3 miles an hour, which is around the same speed as an average walking pace. And even though it's very rare, they're occasionally known to dive to depths of around 1,900 meters, or 6,200 feet. And to put that into perspective, it's the same as swimming a whole airport runway directly towards the ocean bottom. Even though they're not the fastest swimmers, they still migrate thousands of miles every year in search of different feeding grounds. And unlike most other shark species that are carnivorous, the whale shark is one of three filter feeding shark species, along with the basking shark and the very rare megamouth shark. And the whale shark mainly feeds on plankton, but is also known to feed on krill, fish, fish eggs, and crab eggs. And to feed on these food items, it will swim through the water with its mouth wide open, hoovering up as much water as it can. And the whale shark does have 300 rows of tiny teeth, these are not really used for feeding, as the whale shark's gill rakers do most of the work, and these act almost like a sieve so that the food items can stay in the mouth and then be swallowed, and then the water can pass right through them. And this fish's mouth can be over 4 feet wide, and swimming with their mouths open, they can get through 6,000 litres of water an hour, which is around 75 bathtubs full. And feeding in this way is how the whale shark got its name, as many whale species such as the humpback whale are filter feeders as well, and also reach massive sizes. And on this nutrient rich diet, they're thought to reach a maximum size of around 19 metres, or around 62 feet. And to put that into perspective, that's around the same length as two London double decker buses. And if you were lucky enough to be a 6 foot tall man or woman, you would need to be over 10 times taller to rival the whale shark. And at this size they weigh around 14 tons or 28,000 pounds. That's around 14 ocean sunfish or two and a bit elephants or around six giraffes. But unfortunately today the whale shark is endangered in the wild and their friendly gentle nature might be part of the reason of their downfall. And they're so docile in fact that some individuals actually allow swimmers to catch a ride on their fins. But this practice is discouraged by most shark scientists as it can negatively affect the shark. And you can even pay to go out on boats to swim with these sharks and if done responsibly will cause no harm to the shark, but some tourists can't resist the urge to pester this giant fish, and at just over 3 miles an hour, is not going to outswim you. But the main threat to this species comes in the form of climate change and fishing, as many whale sharks are accidentally caught in fishing nets, and it's thought that hundreds of whale sharks are illegally killed every year in China for their fins, skin and oil. But fishing for this gentle giant is banned in many countries to help its numbers bounce back, as it's thought that the whale shark's numbers have decreased 63 percent in the last 75 years, and it takes quite a long time for this fish's numbers to bounce back, as a fully grown whale shark can live up to 150 years old, and they're only thought to reach sexual maturity at the age of 25. And even though a female whale shark can give birth to around 300 pups, less than 10% born will actually survive into adulthood. But there are many charities and conservation websites where you can sponsor or adopt whale sharks, and hopefully their numbers will bounce back in the future. But as you might have seen in a few of the clips in this video, and also on pictures on Instagram, there are a few whale sharks in aquariums around the world, as aquariums such as the Okinawa Aquarium, the Osaka Aquarium, the Palm Aquarium, and the Georgia Aquarium have all kept whale sharks in the past and in some cases the present, but this is by no means an easy feat, as to house a whale shark you need millions of litres of water, and as many aquariums have proven in the past, it's very hard to keep large sharks in captivity, as many institutions have tried and failed to keep great whites in aquariums, so it's miraculous that the whale shark can survive in such conditions. But if the size of tank needed was not 
not enough, you also need to provide them with their natural food, which in this case is krill and plankton. So you really need to recreate a whole ecosystem inside of a giant aquarium. And this has led to many conservationists questioning this practice. As in the Georgia Aquarium, two male whale sharks died in 2007 and one female passed away more recently in 2020. But keeping whale sharks in aquariums does have some upsides too. As scientists are able to conduct research on this species, and it's a good way to rehabilitate injured sharks that have been washed up or captured in fishnets. And very optimistic people have argued that if they were to breed in captivity, the pups could be released into the wild to help the population grow. But that's about it for this video. I quite enjoyed making this video about the whale shark and I might start featuring more saltwater creatures on this channel. So let me know if you liked it down in the comments and I may make some videos on more saltwater fish. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye. <laughs>